Bonjour, je suis Skyler. Uh, okay, that's all the French I know. We are in Quebec. Bienvenue à Quebec. Welcome to Quebec. So, after auto, we crossed into Gatineau. I think that's a Gatineau? Probably. Something like that. We went along the St. Lawrence River, which is... No, we went around the Ottawa River until Trois-Rivières, which is kind of where we got to the St. Lawrence. So right now, we are at a place called Verger Berry, which is an apple orchard. We're uh, maybe 80 to 100 kilometers from Quebec City. So yeah, we're at an apple orchard. We've had like the most marvelous breakfast. Had some apple juice made here, like literally like 100 feet that way. Sorry, 100 meters that way, 50 meters that way. Uh, this is Canada. Had some apple butter, like literally our host, Benoit, was making this apple butter when we woke up this morning. Uh, and yeah, raspberry jam, which is, I, I love jam, and raspberry is probably my favorite berry, and potentially my favorite <clears throat> fruit. Also had some tea, had it on some, like, bread or toast, some bagels. Mars has been eating some cereal, apple juice. We've had just a marvelous morning. We slept in until like 9 a.m. Oh yeah, that was definitely quite a late start for us. Yeah, and it's, what time is it now? Like 10-ish. 10.15. We still haven't started. We're still eating breakfast. I got my bagel. I was just spreading it. This is the view out of the, out of the house. Is that not awesome? You can kind of see... Uh, a little dip in the land. That's where the St. Lawrence River is. So we're just kind of on a hill, maybe 50 meters up, 100 meters. And then the apple, apple orchard is, I guess, behind that building over there. Um, but yeah, so we were originally just going to camp outside, but because of the rain, uh, he said it was okay. And we actually stayed inside. We each got our own bed, got our own room even. It was beautiful. It, it's such a nice place. I don't want to leave Mario. Can we just live here? See if he'll adopt us? Yeah, we're going to make it to Quebec City today. It's our first time. Actually, pretty. I feel like everywhere it's our first time. But uh, Oh, we also went through Laval. We didn't go through Montreal. Uh, but Laval is like a suburb, which is right next to Montreal. Pretty good size. So, yeah, that was nice. Stayed with us. Nice family there, and uh, we've continued on. This place was at the top a pretty substantial hill. Oh yeah, we had to walk up the hill because it's like dirt, and because it was raining yesterday, it was all muddy, and so we're like, yeah, we can't get the traction. Plus, it's really steep. So, yeah, we we're just like, eh, let's just walk it, especially because it's the end of the day. So, yeah. I don't even think we're going to ride down it because like, it's probably going to be very... It, it's like dirt, but there's also lots of rocks on it, kind of embedded in the dirt. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to get going. Anything you want to say to um, our tens of loyal fans, subscribers, lovers, friends, colleagues, acquaintances, travel partners, hosts? And badgers. Still got a ways to go. Still got a ways to go. Wise words from the man who has cycled over 5,000 kilometers. Think about that. 5,000 kilometers in two months. Like that's... You ever think you'd cycle that much in your entire life? Like you go back a year? Or more? Do you think that would even come across your mind like, oh, how much distance you would cycle ever? I don't know why it ever would. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, so we still have about a, a bit under 3,000 kilometers. So, anyway, I'll see you when I see you.